Hello, welcome to another video. If I'm out and about with to, with youngin, with famalam, so I can't be bothered to do much filming. And I'll be honest with you, I've just walked up this hill, that's why I'm out of breath. Quite a big hill. Not that big, is it? Shouldn't be that out of breath, to be fair. Lockdown shit. Um, <laughs> the steak company, or the steak, I can't remember what they're called, I'll put leave a link below. They reached out and said, do you want us to send you a, a goodie bag full of meat? I said, well, we don't really eat meat at home, mate, so just send me a little something that I can take out into the woods and cook up. Quality over quantity, I think I said. And so they sent me a couple of juicy sirloins. Now, I was going to save these sirloins to have out in the woods with Joey D when, he, when, he, when we were allowed back out, but I defrosted them and they're going to go off. They were going to go off and I can't bear to see it go to waste, so... It's not a very planned video. I'm just gonna just cook it up. Just on well, side of this hill, river's there. It's a nice day. It's a whopper of a sirloin, so let's cook it up and, uh, and see how she tastes. Come on. I'm just gonna cut off four bits of wood, green wood, so it ain't gonna burn. And we'll stick the grill on top of that and have the fire underneath. I'll show you this while I'm on. Scandinavian style by my boy Luke over at York Knife. Beauty. Look at that. Oh, someone's having a shoot. Venom green liners. Really grippy. It's got Luke's logo in there. There. And then my logo on the other side with the green and black lanyard on there. 90 degree angle on it an absolute beauty i'm going to i'm going to do a proper video on this these will be up well a limited number of these will be going up for sale um in a few months once luke's made them because he has to make them all by hand and it's uh, it takes him a long time but that's the knife for the day good thing about it is it, it, it it's got such a thin end on it that it's good for whittling and you know, get choking up and doing a lot of finer work. So good for spoon carving. Right, we'll make sure we're checking for roots, make sure there's no roots underneath. I know that there isn't, because it's an old badger set. And this is just the earth that's been tossed out by badger. So we'll just move a load of earth to one side and we'll use that to cover it up once the fire's out. Pop your grill on the ground so you know where your four corners are going to be. Take your green sticks, it's important to use green sticks because they won't burn. And then... That's where you have it. Embers under there. Dinosaur up top. Jobs are done. For the fire, just got a cramp ball, King Alfred's cake, coal fungus, whatever you want to call it. Look at me, look at me fire steel as well, look. Looks like it's been found by Time Team. State of a tinder bundle, courtesy at Farmer's Field. Should just. Very sick, isn't it? The coal fungus is faulty. There you go. One of them. And that'll stay lit. In there, and then we need some stuff to it. One more. And with all bits of gobbles. Oh, I got these early, these 
Scarlet Elf cups, but they need, they need a bit of cleaning, a bit of prep work, so I'll take them home, and I don't have a pan to cook them in, so, <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, shout out the steak shop, look at that, what do you think of that, that's massive, isn't it, there's two in there, actually, two sirloins, but, yeah, I think that, Gigantus, Gigantus, I'm just using dead, dead stuff off the floor, it's all a, it's all a tad punky, but, it'll still, it's, it's fine for what I need it for today. I wonder if I'm still alive. Hey, here we are. Sir Tubius of Thomas. Where are you running off to? <laughs> oh, tell you what, filming with family is a not... It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough gig. Ugh. Don't know how you do it, Mr Locker. <laughs> We've got this garlic and herb, come on. Garlic and herb seasoning. By Tubius McThomas. And uh, so we're going to sear the steak over a hot heat. Reduce the heat a little bit, gas mark five. And just make sure that the middle's cooked. I like it crispy on the outside and pink in the middle. I think my daughter maybe wants it a little bit more well done, so we'll probably end up doing it like that. And and then garnish it with some of this. Because you don't need, this has got salt, has it got salt in it? It's Yeah, it's got salt in it, so you don't even need to season it with anything other than this. Perfect. Perfect for all your camping needs, the Tubby Toms. And then the tin, you make a little, nice little char tin or whatever. Oh, it's glorious. And there's a lovely stretch of river just at the bottom of this woodland, so if I can uh, twist her arm into going for a swim, we will do. If not, it might be just me. Ow. Let's raise these up a little bit, I think, because if we can. Jesus, man, look at that. Straight up whopper. We're going to do two. <laughs> two. <laughs> and uh, uh, my daughter's 12 years old She and she doesn't really eat steak much, so she's eating deep end here. It's too big, isn't it? Massive, mate. Look at that. Right. You'll have to forgive me in advance if these are cooked a little bit too well. Uh, kids come first. Get it on coals almost there. That'll do. I think we'll share one. Share one and take one home. Because massive. And we flip them on the side just to render that big ream of fat down, make it go nice and crispy. But don't be fooled, they're so thick that once it's once it's all charred on the outside, we need to take it and put it on a a lower heat so that it cooks all the way through. Because that'll still be raw in the middle of that. Whoa! We need to <laughs> Got one knife and fork, I'll be right. We're winging it. I'll just raise the gas mark. That'll do enough. I've raised the platform up there, and now just to finish them off, maybe eight minutes, just so it's nice and cooked in the middle. Look at that little tinker. Which one am I gonna? Are you having that? It's almost too big for the board. What? To strips. Ooh. 
fatty. Rouge. Rouge in the middle. Perfect. Tubby Thomas. Let the, I like to let the wind do the work for me for this sort of thing. Let it all get in the gaps there. There you go. Voila. <laughs> what are you laughing at? They're laughing at me. I don't know how you do it, Mr. Locker. Well, there you are anyway, cooked lovely. <laughs> Salute British beef. Delicious. Right, come get some. Um, I'll leave a link below for the steak shop. Um, I think they've given me a promo code. <laughs> I can't remember. I haven't done very well at this. If they have given me a promo code, It'll be downstairs with rest at Gubbins. Um, and that's it, man. We're just going to tuck into this flame grilled steak. Get it down, yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Bathtub. Yeah, what is it in one word? Juicy. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. There you go, steak shop, juicy. So good. That's where we had the fire. As always, leave no trace. There you go. That's part of fun anyway, just make it look like if someone was looking for you, they wouldn't be able to find you or trace you or anything like that. Make it into a little game and leave it just as you found it. Fire the pig. Spider pig. Not even walking away with the camera. Hey, look, I found these these fetching cat gags. If they're yours, leave a comment below and I'll meet you in Alehouse and give you them. <laughs> Wave Kaya, bye. Oh, full of steak. <laughs> right. That was just a silly one. Nice little steak on the side of a hill. Uh, go check out the steak shop. I'll leave a link below. I believe it's promo code Hayes at checkout for a little bit of a discount. And I'll see you all soon. Au revoir. <laughs> Dunk junked. Dunk junk? <laughs> Chuck dunked.